my name's Tom Fees. I live in Dublin, 227 Port Parham Road, Dublin, South Australia. And my age is 75, born in 1946. Well, brought the land, I think it was 2002. 2016 I moved into the house without power. I used generators to make the water hot and cooking with and I used another generator to pump water to have the shower because the generator wasn't powerful enough to do the hot water. My house has been off grid for the simple reason is if you go over, there's a pole over there directly behind over there that will not come from that pole to the shed because that is the neighbour's property and they will not come across private land at the present time. So SA Power will charge $60,000 to run from that pole down to the fence there and then I've got to get really heavy wire to be able to get to the house which costs a fortune to buy. Plus I was going to go off grid anyway. <laughs> This is the solar panels that I've put up myself, which uh, was quite awkward. And this is the battery shed. At the time when I put these batteries in, Luthman iron batteries were hard to get hold of. When I was watching YouTube videos about solar panels and batteries and things like that, what I could see of the ones that he tested, the Blue Eddy, especially the 300 and the 500. You can be moved at any time and it was easy to use. I like the Blue Eddy because it's very handy and it can be a handy weapon. It's a weapon that you can use to power everything, including the house, and it can be very handy in tough situations when you don't have power around and especially if you're doing work outside the, where the extension lead won't hand, come. If you don't use a generator for a long time, the fuel clogs up like a jelly in them, then you want to use a generator it won't start, so that means you've got to pull the carburetor to bits, clean it all out, put it back together to use a generator. With the Blue Eddy, it's just a matter of unplugging it, taking it to where you need it, plug it all back together and use it. I'm planning to probably end up with about three to 4,000 chickens. Well, the shed will be divided down here and in this area here, there will be incubators and brooding place for chickens to be brooded in. That part of the shed will probably have a fridge in that corner over there. Over here will be a area for sorting eggs and pack them and then bring them back out here and load them to vehicles to take them away. The Blue Eddy will be used for night time to keep chickens warm, keep the um, incubator running without having to use the main batteries and to make sure that um, everything runs smoothly. My daily life is pretty boring. It means I'll go out there and move dirt and a little bit of fencing or whatever it has to do, uh, maintenance to the property. I go into, uh, into the town, do shopping at North Park Shopping Centre on Thursdays. Hey, back. My coffee and pie, please, back. I get the meat from the butchers, then move into Big's Cafe and have a pie and a cup of coffee. pretty quiet. I don't have any neighbours to worry about and what neighbours I do have are pretty good and keep to themselves. As I've got a couple of health problems I need to keep my weight down so other than that 
is, I do like my life. Sarah is a florist. Some of her flowers that she likes. And that's Sarah with the Blue Eddy. The most regretful thing about the Blue Eddy is when Sarah put it on Facebook that she was there and I really made me think that made Sarah made the Blue Eddy look good. Because I bought it as a Christmas present, she didn't know about Blue Eddy until, I, until it arrived on the doorstep. Sarah I met online back in the days when um, she was in the Greens and I was complaining about the Greens taking away my pension when they changed the um, asset test rules. And over a period of time we just got to like her and got to know her and uh, we've become good friends since then. Because she's in a rented place, it would help cut her power bills if she charged up the Blue Eddy on solar panels and then used the Blue Eddy to run things in the house because she can't put up a normal power, a solar system on the house because it's rented. The good things about Blue Eddy is it's portable, it's modular, it's pretty reliable and um, it's there for needed and it's going to be a big help as far as looking after the farm. I'd recommend it to anybody because it's good. I love the blue edit.